end. So it really is not much to get a business running, which can be highly, highly profitable. <laughs> be talking about how much it costs to start a dog walking business and I will divide this video into two parts. The first part will talk about the absolute must you have to get before you start a dog walking business and the absolute um, minimum of money you have to spend before you start your own dog walking business and at the same time I want to make sure that you're 100% protected. Um, and the second part will go into things once you really get into the groove and pick up more gigs and pick up more jobs, what you will have to spend in order to uh, really build up a professional dog walking or pet sitting business. So the first one will be to register your business with the state, really depending on which kind of business entity you choose. So should it be LLC, LLP, sole proprietorship, corporation? I would definitely recommend to uh, talk to a C CPA or a lawyer to find out the right business entity. But the crucial thing is to register that business with the state. That can really, depending on where you live, be between $100 and $300. I've seen this very wide range because I've looked at some of the states and it just really depends where you live. The second thing is to get a pet sitting insurance, which is just as important as to register your business with the state. So a pet sitting insurance really protects you usually with anything, with dog bites, with uh, if your dog bites a human, if your dog bites another dog, if something happens within the house, if you accidentally break something, if you lock yourself out of the house and you have to call a locksmith to get yourself back in the house during vacation sits, for example. Um, so it really protects your business and you won't have to pay anything out of your pocket. So there are two insurers that I have been comfortable recommending and I have been using in the past. There's first pet care insurance they're called just like that pet care insurance and they start at 129 dollars and then there's also pet sitters associates petsitllc.com and they start at 200 dollars a year i will link all of these insurers down in my comments so you can uh, just click on it and be on their website. So it really is not expensive, $129 or $200. It really depends on what kind of coverage you want and if you want, want to take employees on in the, in the future or if you already plan on it and what your annual um, sales are. So these are really the two things that I definitely, definitely recommend to get. So it really ranges from about $230 to about $520 to get started on the high, low end to the high end. So it really is not much to get a business running, which can be highly, highly profitable. So in the second part, I would like to talk about six items I recommend getting once you get started and really hit the ground running and you have your first dog walks and your few pet sits. I personally recommend whatever you make, try to reinvest as much as possible in those six things that I'm going to mention. So first is a website. It goes without saying you do need a website. It's definitely a really, really good thing to have because you want traffic onto your website. You can collect emails. You can really tell people what you want to tell them, like testimonials, your rates, your service area, the way you want it and show your products and your pictures. So website hosting, which you will need once you get a domain, a domain you can get from GoDaddy about $12 a year. Um, there are usually coupons out there. If you Google GoDaddy and coupon in uh, the Google browser, you will definitely find some kind of coupons you can use. Then you have to pay for web website hosting, which I recommend getting it through SiteGround. It's really, really convenient. They are, they pretty much have a 100% uptime. So I will link them below. They're about $4 a month, just like I said. And, um, and then you get a website through, uh, I personally recommend WordPress if you're technically more advanced and if you have time on your hand and you have patience with WordPress, you actually own your website. But if you're not so technically skilled or you just don't have the patience or you don't want to deal with it, you can go through uh, website providers like Wix, 
wix.com or or Squarespace. So they will definitely help you out, but just be aware it does cost probably like 10, $12 a month, which is not too bad. But the main thing I personally don't like is that you don't own the website. So I rather pay for something or do something a little bit more um, and I own it at the end. Number two, in my second part is getting a pet sitting software. A pet sitting software is very crucial to stay organized. First, of course, when you have only a few dog walks, um, you really don't have to deal with not being organized because they're just a few dog walks, but it will creep up on you because once you get started and the word gets out and people are calling you and let's say you're out on the road and you just take every phone call you can possibly get, um, it's very, very easy that you just kind of scribble it on a piece of paper, which you shouldn't do as a professional business owner, but it does happen. And then uh, you uh, commit to something and then you completely forget that it was actually uh, in your calendar. So a lot of people are using Google Calendar. I personally don't like that. I personally, I'm all for creating the right habits from the beginning. So get yourself a pet sitting software. It is meant to be for a professional, smoothly run business. And even if if you grow, and especially when you grow, a pet sitting software helps you to stay organized. Um, So pet sitting software, I personally use Precise Pet Care. There are many more pet sitting softwares out there, but I have been completely liking them. They run for $15 a year, one five, no, $15 $15 a month, one five, um, and which is very, very cheap compared to all the worries and stress you would have um, if you don't have a pet sitting software. And also you can link it to your PayPal account and get paid through that. So no more checks and cash. Pelly. Third thing is getting your first aid and CPR certification. It's It should be in your best interest to know what you're doing in case something goes awry. So if the dog eats something and you have to react or if he gets stung by a bee or heat stroke, anything, a pet first aid and CPR certification will help you out to get the knowledge to help the dog or help the cat um, within the first few minutes of something really awful happening. Um, before you get them to the vet and that is usually valid for a year and you should renew it every year anyway because we just forget stuff so uh, pet cpr and first aid certification costs about 45 dollars with pro pet hero usually 50 but i do have a coupon if you go to dogwalk to wealth.com slash tools i have a coupon right there for pro pet hero so you can use that to get five dollars off so essentially it's 45 dollars for that certification number four um get poop bags of course in the beginning you might be able to use maybe poop bags from the owner which most owners are completely cool with a lot of professional companies are actually doing it that they require for them to have their own poo bags um, that you can use. But I personally don't want to rely on having poo bags at the owner's house because if they don't have it, then what do you do, you know? So get poo bags. They're about $20 for 900, just about 900 poo bags. I do have a link down below for biodegradable poo bags um, from Amazon and also for regular poo bags that are cheaper. I just prefer to be earth friendly and use the biodegradable if they're really better, who knows, but I do use it. The fifth point is to get a shirt with a logo on. Embroidered is definitely the best because it does stay on even if you wash it a lot of times, which you will need if you walk dogs. Um, So I personally recommend logoup.com, L-O-G-O-U-P.com. I'll put it in the notes. You will see it below and they usually run depending if you get a regular shirt, a polo shirt, or a sweater, they run in between 20 and $50. It's definitely worth the investment because you look professional. You look the part of a dog walking business. Last but not least, getting business cards is my number six. And it runs in between $10 and $20 for, I think it's about 100, 150 business cards, which very much lasts you a long time in the beginning especially but if you strike up a conversation with a dog owner on your regular dog walks it's perfect just to 
give out your dog walking business card and they're on their way and they can go right on your website and book those dog walks. So those are really the actually eight things you should have to get started. But as I said, the first two things, registration and a pet sitting insurance, dog walking insurance are the most important to really the bare minimum to really get you started. Yeah. So, you should so this should really give you a great idea on how much does it cost to get your dog walking business up and running and keep running it professionally once you get started. So pop in the comments below, let me know what kind of pet sitting insurance you have decided on. I would really, really like to know. And make sure you subscribe to my channel to get my weekly dog walking business tips and tricks. I will see you in the next video.